Let me go here with the conversation, y'all. And this is where it's going to be like a catch. 22, it's going to be like, whoopsie. Thank you, Jackson. I'll read that in a second. Y'all know how back in the day where you were like those very women that you were spreading the good news to, telling them that they the prize and, you know, you don't need no man and you can do it all of yourself and all of that. You, you, you know, you were just like those young ladies. And you was passing up those good quality men. Well, now those same good quality men that you are looking to get. They're not looking to get you. And as a matter of fact, a lot of those same men will now place you, ma'am. In the friend zone. That's a reality that a lot of you women today do not tell each other about. You don't tell them, you don't tell those young ladies or just women around you that you become that cool buddy old pal. Yeah, you're good, but you become that very same individual that a lot of y'all categorized in place those men that were checking for you that were quote unquote ideal good guys nice guy you become the good girl the nice girl the old buddy old pal and so i although men can appreciate the fact that oh yeah you, you you're 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 on you're on to something now. Yeah, I love the fact that, you know, you get us men and you understand how to, you know, be balanced and fair in a relationship. I love that about you. Y'all. You a real cool, you a real cool girl. But because, again, maybe you've racked on bodies on bodies on bodies, baby daddies on baby daddies on baby daddies, or maybe just babies. You old, you know. You got a lot of debt, whatever. Because you did all of that, it's like, yeah, you, yeah, I appreciate that. But no, thank you. Now, you, ma'am, are friend zone Frederica. Friend zone Francesca. Y'all don't tell women that that will soon be a lot of their realities unless you want to get with a simp lollipoppy. A sucker, an easy lick, noodle back, flimsy ass dude, which none of us desire, none of us want, none of us need. Ma'am, y'all don't tell them that when it comes to the ideal men, you now get friends on, you now get passed up. Yeah, I can appreciate your caliber of woman now, but I don't want you. It's too much to deal with, it's too much. To handle. Y'all don't tell them that part. Are there exceptions? Sure. 
But for the majority, y'all don't y'all don't keep it that Rizil, gangster Grizzle, now do you? Friends on Francesca. Y'all have no idea how many uh women I've seen to where you know now they've come to the light and they understand and all of this, and you know, they can have guys that's like, Yeah, I really I think you a cool girl and all of this and all of that. But again, he don't want you though. I've seen plenty of miserable women with that reality to where it's like now that they do understand and they are trying to implement certain things and they can even be in close proximity to the men that they do desire. And it's like, they still don't want you though. You can exemplify the epitome of what an ideal woman is as far as the way that you conduct yourself and the things that you understand things you're willing to do but like we talked about earlier with those cars but I can get a newer model though and so yeah I can appreciate the fact that you're an older model and you got a lot going and I can probably get a few good years out of you and I can get more out of that and so yeah I can appreciate that I respect that salute to you sis but that's all you ever be you in the sis zone they don't tell y'all about that reality, do they? They tell you you're gonna always have men beating and knocking down your door. They tell you that if all thus fails, just be a pick me, Mary bitch, right? So, you know, if one day you decide or you come to realize that, you know, um, this ain't popping, this not working for me, I will just pander to men and have them beating down my door and they'll come running to me and choose me up and marry me and I'll live happily ever after manipulating men. Sis, that ain't even working. That ain't even working. It's like, damn, it's hard out here now. Let me just tell these men what they want to hear. Let me just pretend to be something I'm not so I can get some help. That's not even working. They're not telling you that. You'll get a pat on the head at best and, and send on about your way. Because again, men are now looking at the newer models. No pun intended. Okay. I'm not talking about actual models, but hey. And that's the reality that a lot of us face. So it's like, damn, sis, you would make a really great wife now. Yeah, sis, you 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 got a lot, man. A lot of great qualities that would make a great wife, great mother, and everything. But damn, a lot of y'all do not tell y'all sisters they got the they got to face that, and they got to eat that. They got to be a hard pill to swallow when you know damn well. What to do now, how to do it, where you went wrong. And you can't even get an opportunity to show and prove that you do. That you do get it now. That you know how to do it. That got to be tough. 